Do you want to know where to save your application data? You should look at this video. Welcome to another .NET MAUI episode. This is the third one where I will talk about storage. The first one was about secure storage. The second one was about setting storage. And today I will talk about where to save your application data. Because the different types of data should be saved at different places. For example, we have application data that I produced and that you want to be in backups when the, the operating system are backing up your device. For example, to iCloud or via iTunes. But if you have cache data, for example, if you cache data from a server, you don't want that to be in backups. So I will show you where you can save different types of data in this video. To demonstrate this, I have built a very simple app where we will save a text to file. So let's go to Visual Studio and into our view model and the method save note. So first we need to figure out the path where to save this. This is data created by the app and Probably we want that the data to be inside of backups. Because if the user have problem with the device and need to restore it, we want it to be there for them. And that's the same on both iOS and Android. So what we can do is that we can use this great class inside of .NET MAUI called file system. So file system. So file system dot current dot app data directory. And that is one we should use for saving data. As you can see here, we also have the cache directory. And that one is what we should use when we have cache data or if we have data that we don't want to be inside of backups. But for now, we use app data directory. So we want a full path including name. So we want a, we want a full path including name. So create a variable full path is path dot combine. I recommend you to always use path don't combine because uh, it doesn't matter if you run on Windows, uh, Linux, iOS, Android. It will work to combine path, even if it should be backslash or slash. That can be different between the operating system. So use path don't combine like this path. And then we have a file name. My file dot txt, for example. And now we can go and write this to the disk. File dot write all text and pass full path variable and the string content that is the text property. Just like this. Okay, we're done. We can now save this to the file system. Should we try to run it? Yes, of course we should. We set the breakpoint here. Restart the app. Hello. Save. Yes, we are inside the method. We get the path that is in the library. And full path is with, yeah, this was not big enough. So let's do like my file.txt. So we can combine them. Okay. So now we have written it to the, oop, and everything is fine. Okay. But if you have a database like SQLite or LightDB, how can I apply this there? Yeah, it is easy. You should use this app data directory for saving your database, unless it's about cache data. Because maybe you want to save cache data also in a database. So then use cache data directory. Otherwise use app data directory. It's not harder than that. So this will be a very short video. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. There will be a lot of more .NET MAUI content. See you next time.